So one of the Mac computers that I have is not eligible to receive new OS update anymore. Uh, so instead of throwing it out, I thought it would be a good idea to try installing Linux on it and see if it works. So I installed Ubuntu on it last week and everything was working fine. The keyboard and the mouse were directly plugged in on the computer via USB ports. But when I tried connecting Apple's uh, keyboard and mouse uh, last night, I had trouble connecting to them. I thought it would be a fairly easy task uh, since I have a desktop environment installed. So I just went here open a Bluetooth and look for the devices. So the devices showed up, but when I try to click connect, it just does not connect. Sometimes the keyboard, this one, it appears and disappears again. Sometimes it's there, but it does not connect like this one. So I looked for the help online and realized that I was not the only one having this problem. So there are a lot of other users having same issue of connecting uh, Bluetooth devices on Linux machine using graphical options. And almost everyone suggested connecting Bluetooth using command lines. And after reading a few articles and forums q and A, I I summarized that most of the people are experiencing two things. First, absence of firmware or firmware needs to be upgraded. And the second one is wireless devices being blocked by RF kill. But my problem was neither of them. I will let you know what fixed for me, but let's look at these common issues that other people are having with uh, connecting Bluetooth. So if you check your PCI devices or USB devices list, you should see your Bluetooth device uh, somewhere. So if you do LSPCI and filter for the Bluetooth, If it's not a PCI device, then you can try USB. On my computer, it shows it's a USB device. So the first issue was missing a firmware. And if you're having firmware issues, then you can actually check the kernel buffer message and see if it's indicating anything that is related with firmware. So if you look at the kernel buffer message, let's look at for the Bluetooth or firmware messages. I do not have any firmware related issues here, but let me show you the snippet of uh, output that other people are having that are related with firmware. Uh, there's one GitHub article that I want to show you. So here, uh, when he did um, look at the kernel buffer message, it said that uh, the firmware was not loaded or not found. And his solution was to find this particular firmware and load into slash leave slash firmware brcm for the broadcom device and restart the device and he said it was successfully loaded for him and this was the article that you can go here and find the appropriate uh, firmware and i'll put both links on the description just in case if you need it and the second kind of problem was uh, being blocked by rf kill so if you type rf kill you can do at least all in older version but if you're using latest version you can just use rf kill so that's not the problem either. So I have both unblocked. Some users, they have uh, this either soft blocked or hard block. And you can do RF kill unblock and just give this ID zero or one. So in this case, if it was blocked, it would be one since this is my Bluetooth device. But in my case, it's not blocked. And when I was looking online, I found some Raspberry Pi users whose problem was fixed after starting at CUI art service. So if you do system CTL start at C uh, you are, it might not be installed on my computer. So let me show you how did I fix the problem. So the first thing I did was I upgraded packages as I normally do after installing any new system. So sudo apt get update and and after that I checked if Bluetooth module was loaded in the kernel or not. So in my case, it was loaded. And the thing that worked for me was uh, turning off the Bluetooth device and turning it on using command line. So if you do HCI config, you will see the list of the Bluetooth devices or with hyphen A option. So this is the MAC address of Bluetooth controller on my computer. And what I did was sudo HCI config, HCI zero, that's my device, turn it down and then turn it up using command line. Even if it shows Bluetooth was on in here, I went ahead and turn off and turn on using command line. Even though it's on here, it just does not work in some cases and didn't work for mine either. So I did that one. And then I went into the Bluetooth control center using command line. Sudo. 
So now my controller showed up. Before, when I did this command, it said no default controller available. But since I already did this, I already fixed it. It shows uh, as soon as I enter Bluetooth control command. And here you can do list. So this is the controller I have. Before I fix the problem, it just said no default controller available. And if you hit tab, you will see a lot of uh, commands that's available in Bluetooth control. You can also do hyphen H and learn about these commands. So now if you do a scan on, you will see the list of devices that it will uh, find. And if you do devices, then I can see the Apple keyboard and Apple mouse. And you can use trust and the Mac address. So the Mac address that I'm trying to connect is this one and this one. So if I want to trust Apple keyboard, then I'll just hit 28 colon 37 and I can do trust 28 C. So now both are trusted device and you can do pair space Mac address 28 CF. Let's connect the mouse first. Okay, now you will see that pairing was successful. And now if I want to pair the keyboard, then the Mac address of the keyboard is, let's devices one more time, 2837. Okay, so the pin code is 702575. Now I should enter that pin code, 702575. Now you see that um, the keyboard is connected. And now I'm typing from Apple keyboard. And here you will see that the uh, Bluetooth is connected. Not sure why mouse is not connected. Let me try one more time. Pair. It says it already exists. I'm not sure now, maybe I can use graphical mode now. Okay, now it's connected. So after I fixed using command line, I was able to use a graphical user interface and uh, connect and disconnect. So right now this mouse movement is from Apple wireless mouse. And it's was connected here as well. So if you're having problem with connecting using a graphical user interface, you should always go to the command line and uh, go to the Bluetooth control panel and try to scan devices and trust and pair it from there. Even if it shows here, uh, it just does not work sometimes. And uh, if you go to command line, it should work. And that's what worked for most of the people. So this is it, guys. I just wanted to make it short and helpful for those who are trying to connect their Bluetooth device to the Linux machines uh, but having difficulties. So I hope one of those methods that I explained here would solve your problem. And thanks for watching the video. Um, I'll come up with another video next week. And until then, take care and see you next week.